Hey, what's up? It's Jeptuan Mutai here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share tips and expert advice on freelance and business. If you are new here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also visit my blog at jeptuani.com to learn more. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create simple and catchy YouTube thumbnail using Microsoft PowerPoint. Stay tuned. Hi, 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 hi. This is Freelance and Business. Looking for professional screencast video production services? Request a free quote on www.techtubestudio.com. Creating simple and catchy YouTube thumbnail using Microsoft PowerPoint is easy if you are a tech savvy person. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a thumbnail like this one here using Microsoft PowerPoint. To get started, open Microsoft PowerPoint on your computer and select a blank presentation. Before you start designing, you need to make sure that your canvas is 1280 by 720 pixels. This is the same as 13.3 inches by 7.5 inches. To set your canvas size, click on design, then slide size, then custom slide size. On slide size 4, select widescreen, enter 13.3 for the width and 7.5 for the height. On the orientation, select landscape for both slides and notes and click on OK to finish. We are now all set up to start designing the thumbnail. Enter the text you will want to have for your thumbnail on the text box here. For my case, it will be how to design YouTube thumbnail using Microsoft PowerPoint. I will type in the text here. To change the size, color and font, click on home menu item to display these settings and under the font you can make the changes. Click and drag the text box by the corner points to resize it. Move your cursor to the corners of the text box and once you see the plus sign, click hold and drag to move the text box around the canvas. To change the color and font of the text, first you have to select all text. You can use the settings that pops up or you can opt to go for the settings on top to make the changes. Once you are happy with the modifications on your thumbnail text, you will need to change the thumbnail background to light green. To do this, go to design and select format background. Select solid fill. Then under color, select light green color as you can see here. Once done, proceed and add this background highlight on some thumbnail text to emphasize. In this case, we are going to emphasize on the word YouTube and Microsoft PowerPoint. I'll use white text and red background. I'll first change the text to white. In this case, we'll start with YouTube then go to Microsoft PowerPoint. It looks good so far, right? Next, I'll add the desired background. To do this, click on Insert under the top menu. Under Shapes, select Rectangle. Click, hold and drag to draw a triangle around the text you want to highlight. In this case, it's YouTube. Change the color of the box to the one of your choice. To do this, I'll go to Shape Fill and select Red and on the Shape Outline, I'll select None. This shape must be at the back of the text. To send it back, right click and choose Send to Back and that is done. Repeat the same process for other text. Next, we need to add YouTube logo from the internet. To do this, click on Insert, then Picture, then Online Pictures. In this case, I'll type YouTube and enter to begin search. I'll then pick the one of my choices and then click on Insert. Resize the image and position it on the section of the screen that you want. Finally, add arrows pointing on the YouTube icon to make it more appealing. Under Insert, click on Shapes, then select one arrow under Block Arrows. Resize it, position it, and when you're happy, 
change its color and outline. It's important to have colors that are catchy to the person watching the video. For me, I have picked red color. To duplicate the arrow, right click and copy. Then paste it on the slide. Position it to the section you want on the screen. And we are done. To save your thumbnail, go to file and select save us. Under save us type, select .jpg, then click save. And that is it from me here. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also visit my blog at youtube.com to learn more. Until next time, bye bye and take care. My name is Jeptioni Mutai. Follow me on Twitter at Jeptioni. Looking for professional screencast video production services? Request a free quote on www.techtubestudio.com.